much to talk about here. First off, I didn't realize I was going to be on a sci-fi show tonight, but we are entering a dystopian exactly. future. We are entering an authoritarian future because, as I've said to you before, authoritarians love authoritarianism. So they're taking this opportunity when we're all confused, we're all locked at home. The only way we can communicate with each other is through their pipes, is through YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and everything else. And they're actually finally saying to us, this is who we are. I mean, The, the Atlantic is ridiculous. I, I don't know anyone that reads it anymore. But, but the bigger issue here is, is the YouTube, Twitter, Facebook component of it, because we are now saying to them, or, or they're saying to us, uh, we're going to tell you what's true. And if you dare go against what we say is true, not necessarily what is true, but what we say is true, then we're going to boot you. So, the, the, of course, the other part of this is that it will always only be one side that gets booted here. I mean, is Facebook running around and is Twitter and, and YouTube running around? Are they taking away all the Russian collusion videos that were up over the past couple of years? I'm pretty sure MSNBC has a YouTube channel that still has videos on it. I mean, that was pushing lies and misinformation and propaganda. So we need to debate these things. If I was to interview these two doctors uh, that you showed the video of, would my channel be deleted? Am I not allowed to talk about that? Is that not what science and open inquiry really is about, that you test theories and then you find out what actually is true? And as you pointed out, and this may be the most important part, it's not as if the WHO is infallible. They were literally just a few weeks ago telling us not to wear masks. Now, by law, I tried to go to CVS yesterday, and I wasn't going to wear a mask. I was just going to run in and out. And it said in the front of the store, it said, by law, you have to wear a mask. So it's not as if these people have some, uh, you know, some total stranglehold on truth that the rest of us have to bow to unless they force us to. And unfortunately, big tech has got us now more than ever because we're all trapped at home and it's the only way we can communicate. So no one in science has a monopoly on the truth. Science, in fact, is a rejection of the idea that there is a monopoly on truth. It's the endless search for what we can prove. That's what science is. They, this has nothing to do with it. You introduce as a hypothetical the notion that you could be deleted your channel for hosting this video. I'm not sure that is hypothetical anymore. And my question is very simple. How long before they come for you? You just wrote a book called Don't Burn This Book. How long before they come for the show? Sincere questions.